Hello my friends! In this video I'll show you how easy it is to paint a cat with big eyes. As usual we will start with the sketch. This time I did the sketch off camera and I'm starting with the eyes. For this project I will use color pencil and painting and I will explain a little later why I chose this combination. I'm using now a light gray and I'm working on the area around the eyes. My cat will have green eye, but of course, and you already know that you can choose any color that you want, including unusual colors for the eyes, such as purple or pink, or you can even use a combination of colors. You can choose rainbow eyes. Anything will look great. Every time when we're painting eyes, it is very important to have some areas that are completely white that represent the light reflections and that will make the eyes look more open and more dramatic and in this case it will make the eyes look bigger and more cartoonish. In order to create a little contrast inside the eye I chose several um, greens. I use darker green on the top and brighter green for the bottom. And where I want the most light, I will use simple yellow. And I'm mixing everything together. The inner parts of the eyes are done, so now I will work on the outside and I will continue to put more grays and at the end I will blend everything with white. For here on, I'm going to use acrylic. Probably you're wondering if you really need to use this combination of pencil colors and acrylics. I would say no, it's not a must. But the reason why I have chose this combination is because I want that glossy look that only the pencil color can give me. You can achieve a very beautiful cat and a beautiful painting using only uh, acrylics or any other color that you have. So it's not extremely important to use this combination that I used here. But if you want to achieve um, shyness and uh, like I said the glossy look then try this combination and you'll be surprised how how good it looks in reality. I'm defining the areas that I will leave white and I will fill the rest with black. At the end after it dries completely I will come with another layer of black on the eyes to achieve a uh, opaque area. I've changed my brush and this is helping me to paint faster and to achieve a blended look in the background. The dots that you're seeing there is a marker that will help me to separate the area that is on top and the area that is on the bottom. 
I used it as a guide when everything will be covered with color, it will be difficult for me to know where I am. So those dots will be a useful reference point. And I'll do the same thing on the left side. First, I will apply the black and then a brighter gray around the cat. I'm using my finger here in order to blend the color quickly. If you want to do the same thing, you have to have a wet support. It is impossible to mix colors when they're dry. If they're wet, you can do this and you can um, rub your finger around the canvas or around the paper very gently and you will get a nice blend. For the rest I'm using the same technique, I'm applying the darkest color first and then the brighter grey and I'm working my way around the cat. For the inner part of the eyes, I want this uh, white dot to be bigger, so I'm putting more white, just like that. Okay, now for the cat, I want um, to create the fur texture and for this, I'm going to apply short and negligent strokes. I'm applying the same thing on the body and the tail. I want my cat to blush a little, so I will put pink on the cheeks and on the ears. Of course, I will cover it up after, after that and I will put uh, more layers on top, but it will create a nice undertone. I've changed my brush right now, I'm using the small brush and I'm adding little, little strokes here and there. It's not difficult to create fur. First of all, you have to be very patient and you have to apply multiple layers and every single time you have to consider the transparency of the layer that you're, you're applying. You can work with opaque layers, but the most effect is when you use transparent color and you let the layer underneath to shine through. And here, um, for the cat, because we have short hair, we're gonna use short strokes. 
But if you have,、um, for example, an animal with long hair, then you will have to use longer strokes. The effect that I'm looking for in this particular painting is to get a cartoonish or a goofy look. So I'm gonna be negligent in purpose, and I'm not gonna put a lot of details into creating fur. For more brightness, I want the area under the eyes to be white, and、um, I will apply a layer of white just under the eyes and then on top of the eyes. For the body, I'm doing the same thing. I'm applying layers and layers of short strokes. I'm defining the legs and a little bit of shadow here under the head, and of course, I'm mixing it. And I apply more white so the head will look more defined. Here is my final layer of white, and I'm working mostly on the outer edge. I want to extend the fur outside the head shape. It will look more goofy like this. And of course, I'm applying some on the inside. It's time to paint a nose and a very, very small mouth. And of course, I will put some blush here. This time, I'm using a very watery pink. the The color is mostly dry, and now I'm just blending everything together. And of course the whisks. And for this, I'm using only the tip of my brush, and I'm doing several lines in all the directions. The more, the better. 
And now that it's all dried up, I'm going to put another layer of black in order to enhance uh, the black that I used before and I want it to be more in contrast with the white fur. But I'm also reshaping here and there the eyes. And this is my cat. I'm gonna name it Meow. Thank you for watching and see you next time with another fun project. Bye bye!